all right guys so welcome back to another video so today i'm going to give you an update on my backyard i got this little uh bench here i built it myself uh, i got the uh the roof as well over here and a few other things that i want to show you so stay tuned okay so one of the first uh, additions was this tv right here that i'm uh, mirroring from my ipad now obviously uh it's quite bright today so uh, you probably can't see that very well, but um, it's there. I normally hook up the E6. Uh, as you know, I have the mat right here, the, the putty mat. Uh, I also added a, uh, a net on top for now because uh, we, you wouldn't want any balls to be going out there. I increased the height of that just a little bit, as well as there. And I obviously painted this uh, shed over here. I maintained, I put some treatment on it and let me show you around here i did fix this i actually made a video on this so um, it looks a little better as you can see then i also made this um, this sofa here from pallets so as you can see here i got um, i had a good friend of mine um, he was uh, nice enough to bring me some pallets and what i did is i treat them and i saw a few videos online so it's quite easy actually uh, as long as you put the treatment on and you can actually put some cushions on it as well but this is a great addition because i can actually uh while taking a break or uh, when i have people over uh, they can actually sit over here and uh, it didn't cost me much actually uh, all i did is i sand it i clean it really good and uh, i put some uh, treatment for uh, waterproofing having the screen here is actually quite useful i can uh, have immediate feedback on my shots with the FS app as well as with the E6. Uh, in the evening, I can set up the screen, but for now I can uh, work on it during the day. So I do have some people come in uh, for some uh, sessions with uh, fly scope. So definitely um, that uh, having this TV here definitely helps. Another addition, uh, I put these three mirrors here and um, actually I need to add up one more here, but having it there, uh, I can actually see my whole uh, backswing uh, except for the last part so that's why I need to add another one but um, I can use it like this as well right in front I can work on my movements um, so that's another addition uh, I would like to put another one right here as well so maybe make this higher put the TV on top and a mirror on the bottom that way I can actually see my position like right in front of me as well so mirrors definitely help guys I, I don't know if you practice with mirrors but for me it has helped me uh even just look at my grip right in front uh i would say like 100 uh, percent that has helped me another thing that i forgot to mention is the protective case that i built uh quite simple to do and definitely it provides a uh, huge protection for the unit so if you don't have this right here you can it's easy to build all you need is the um, acrylic glass and just uh, in my case i put wood around it that way it can protect it against any uh, miss hits or bouncing balls going back okay so now it's a little late in the afternoon about 5 uh, 30 uh, i'm gonna take you through a few holes so you can get an idea of what it is to play in my backyard setup i have a par four about uh, 341 yards so i'm gonna hit my driver Under 24 yards, a little bit downhill, so I'm going to use my pitching wedge. A little pull, but should be okay. So as you can see, having the screen right in front of it is way better than looking at this, the image on the iPad, and actually it makes it a little more realistic. Uh, obviously, um, ideally would be to just look at this the the image project the image on the on the net but uh, that's not possible during the day obviously so about the the screen does help a lot let me show you exactly what i'm doing i, I got the screen there and the ipad right here and i got this adapter obviously and this i connect to the tv and then it's just the ipad is mirroring uh everything from here to there and obviously the, the Flyscope Mibu Plus is right here on the on the case. So this is a par four. It's uh, 400 yards, a little bit downhill. 
So I'm going to turn my dryer. Okay, 177 downhill, so I'm gonna play my six iron. I passed it a little, so now I got a little chip, 28. Was very close so those are just a few additions that i have made to my backyard setup uh, i know the plan was to close everything make it into a shed a golf shed uh, the only problem again I, I mentioned it on all of my videos here uh, is really really windy we got some tough wind so if i were to do that i would have to do it like immediately like uh, on the same day and that would take a lot of time for me so um, my plan right now is to leave it like this and then maybe for the winter time close it uh, i would i would though close it just halfway because i do enjoy being out in the open uh, i think it's a nice uh, setup like this where you don't have to be close in in a, in a closed room so like this you can get to enjoy a little bit you know the outdoors in a way so obviously if it's too bright like today it's a little uncomfortable so i will have to make some changes maybe put like a roof in here um, but it has to be something stable because here anything that you put any roof is just the wind is just going to take it away so uh, it has to be well thought out and designed all right guys so that was just a quick video uh, to show you my backyard uh, facility uh, it's still a work in progress because uh, i have to find out uh, where i'm supposed to put everything like i said the tv has to be a little higher the golf bags actually they're better over here when people come uh, before I left them over here so it's kind of like I have to get a little more organized but uh, really really happy with the with this setup so far it's working really good the TV uh, that's a great addition for me it's definitely um, helping me see everything much clearer um, and then in the evening I still need to get a better projector to uh, project into the screen because it's a little weak so it's not uh, very uh, bright and that could be a problem so I will do that later and I will continue with my project uh, if you have any suggestions from, uh, or anything uh, make sure to let me know I hope you enjoyed the video guys uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like thanks for watching until next time